When I was a little girl, I liked to invent fairy tales in my head. So when I create a collection, I imagine a story and a person. Where she comes from, why is she here, and where she's going. When I was a kid, I was ripped from the places that I grew up in. That occurred many times. Changing continents, countries, cultures. That's a very interesting feeling because there's two sides of that coin. One is fear, but what comes with fear is a sense of utter freedom. You can reinvent yourself. You are free from your past, and you are free to recreate your future. I've always wanted to become a sculptor. When I started design school, I had a chance to experiment with many different modes of expression. When I came across fabric, I immediately had a very strong connection with it. It was in perpetual movement; it never had a finished shape. In a sense, I'm not a designer because I don't draw so much. I take a sheet of fabric and start directly with pins and draping on the mannequin. It's just a very instinctive approach, and I don't really know where I'm going. Creation is not something that can be premeditated. I'm very much inspired by the ever-changing elements of nature: the water flows, the movements, the sky, the light. My white page is the empty mannequin. The only clue I have to start is the encounter with the fabric. Some of them I just let fall on the body, like water dictating its course in the physical landscape. Sometimes it's so harsh that it hurts to manipulate it, and it's a battle. That confrontation always creates something interesting. For me, haute couture is not about the fashion scene. It's a space where you can try to do something that has not been done before. That seems impossible. I never try to go with the flow. That's boring. <laughs> That's something I don't know how to do well. It's important for my creativity to always be confronted, because that's where transformation is possible. When you take that step to meet the unknown, to connect, you have to believe in yourself and always challenge conventions. Never get comfortable. That's the real magic in transformation.